Hey guys, what is up? It is Pieces of Prestige, and today I'm here again with Building Prestige Heights in Planet Coaster. And this is kind of an ep a special episode, this is episode 7, uh, but this episode doesn't really have anything to do with real thrill rides, but it does have to do something with actual theme parks. And some theme parks like Europa Park and Fantasia Land and Disneyland, they have these resorts on site. So basically inside of the park, there's hotels. And a user called Juma actually explained this to me like, wouldn't it be a cool idea to uh, build a hotel in your park? And I was like, you know what? That's an amazing idea. I'm so going to do that. So here we are. Now, I first experimented with building such a structure in a, uh, an empty sandbox. And I found out some, you know, some things that I could use. And one of the things that I really like is having this path that goes basically out of the normal path, goes up a little bit, and then with this wall beneath it, you know, with the lights, uh, it kind of coasts along the path with the building right in the back. And one of the most important things about this building is that I want it to be alive. And what I mean with, you know, a building being alive is that a building needs to be utilized. Now, you can't make peeps go into a hotel or a restaurant, of course, uh, you know, just saying. Um, but basically what you can do is you can put some stalls inside of the building and make the peeps go there. And I actually did that right here. Uh, so what you can see in a couple of minutes is that I actually put a path towards the inside of the building and basically make the peeps go in and get hats or a, a drink or something like that. Uh, you know, go to the restroom, whatever. But the peeps will actually go into the building. Here you can see me putting the bath down. But they will actually go into the building and later they come out. And that just kind of gives this idea that this is an actual resort that's actually used. Because they actually, you know, come out of the building looking around like, Woo, where am I? And this looks cool and that looks cool. The animations are amazing. And, you know, I think that this with the path going into the resort is one of the best things I have done in this game so far really really helps with selling the entire idea of this being a hotel all right so let's <laughs> let's get going with the theme now basically the theme is the same as the entire thrill zone area it's all modern white walls and basically just white lights i did kind of mix it up with some wood in there you know just for porches and little balconies and you know that kind of stuff this is <laughs> this is actually a pretty big balcony um but whatever basically i just Kind of mix it up a little bit while still keeping it modern because I really like the modern look and it's got to be modern in this area of the park. And since it is kind of on the slope of the mountain on the side of the park, uh, I was kind of excited to kind of use that to make a wing of the building that goes towards the far right. So basically uh, from the back uh, to the right it actually goes out uh, at an angle and that's kind of what I wanted to create and I think in the end it kind of it kind of paid off what I did. I built the modular section, so I built the main entrance area of the, uh, of the resort, basically. That's the, well, basically what you can see now. It's, it's all aligned to one simple grid. And then the next building, I'm actually going to build it away from this one. And then later, I can plop it in at any angle that I want. And that's something really cool about the modular structure that this game actually gives you to build your buildings. I really like the fact that you can play around with the buildings after you build them. You can just take them apart and place them somewhere else. And that really gives freedom as to how you want your building to be um, flexible, basically. You can just put them down however you want. All right, so this <laughs> this is something that I wanted to try. Uh, with the steel roofs, kind of place dormers. Now, I was like, you know what? I want to place windows in there, but they didn't really fit. And in the end, I actually came up with a pretty, you know, pretty funny idea. Uh, I'm sure many people have done this, but you can rotate the windows and you can make really wide windows and that's, that's something I really like. Uh, it, you know, it's just another one of those things that I didn't really know, but I found out by playing and that's just, that's the, that's the main part about, you know, games like this. The fun thing about these games is kind of learning to play as you go along and I hope you guys enjoy to watch that because that's basically what's happening all the time. Alright, so starting on the, the, basically the wing of the building. Now right here I just placed some base walls, those are actually render walls, so they kind of have this stucco uh, texture to them, but I thought that would look very cool uh, as a base wall, and that's also what I used on the normal building basically, the, uh, the front facade building. So just adding some little details to the porch right here, the decking, 
and just placing walls and it's a really rectangular building I tried to kind of mix it up with the roof in the end um, but it's still it's really really simple and I think that also is something that's kind of modern you know modern buildings are kind of simplistic they can also be extremely extremely uh, basically just complex like the buildings that uh, Santiago Calatrava designs uh, his name is down in the description I just you know put it in there uh, so you can Google him basically it's an art he's an architect slash um, engineer who creates buildings basically he doesn't really create them he designs them but they look amazing he's done uh, the science museum in Valencia if I'm correct and also the station in um, how do you call that? I think it's it's pronounced Liege. I'm not sure if I said that right. Uh, <laughs> but it's basically a city in uh, Belgium where he designed the train station, which is awesome. Uh, so you can go ahead and Google that. But yeah, basically that's kind of modern, but this is really simplistic modern because I don't want to do all these intricate shapes uh, that would take forever to do. And in the end, probably wouldn't come out the way I want them to. And right now I can just experiment with little things and then in the end, I can make more intricate stuff. You know, uh, right now I'm still getting ha getting ha the hang of the wow. I'm still getting the hang of the basics of the game. So looking at how I place the windows, I'm not really happy with the way they are. Um, I kind of you know, normally you place them on the wall, with holding the control button, which will you know make them stay in the same plane at the same height. And I actually didn't use that. So there, I, when you look at the side of the building, you can actually see that the um, the windows have different heights and that's something that really bothers me um, my OCD can't handle that right here actually did use the control key so that actually worked out pretty nice but the middle floor uh, I think I'm gonna fix that sometime maybe in the next episode we'll do that quickly so adding the roof to this building I kinda wanted to do a special roof right here that kind of goes you know flows over in, in itself uh, that's a really weird way to explain it but you can see it right here um, basically this little part is sort of a dormer that sticks out of the big part and these steel roofs you can easily combine them into multiple shapes and you can <laughs> you can make whatever you want I think th you know this set this modern set is actually one of the most flexible things I haven't really tried out the piratey theme yet uh, I will do that later but first you know I gotta say this modern theme I really like the flexibility it has and is if this game like every item of the game has this flexibility and what you can use them for I gotta say this is very convincing to be one of the best roller coaster type games ever uh, in my opinion at least now this little kind of stairs area towards the balcony right there uh, it's one of my favorite things actually you know the, the slope roof this is the first time I actually used that roof if I'm correct because I don't really like the way that the slope is that tall it's actually really really steep and that's just something you know I can't really use that for every roof that I that I built because I kind of don't want my roofs to look like spires all the time and with those roofs they kind of do now in the end I think the overall shape of this building you know with the wing and the main facade and the little bit that sticks out on the left side I think in the end I'm really happy with the result uh, I'm gonna have some screenshots up in the end just to look at it but you know it's just it's really cool you know you, you build this simple structure and then you keep on adding details and even right now just some little awnings and little lights uh, that I placed here and there and in the end all the little details really make the building feel alive and of course the most important thing right here is you can actually see them the peeps are going into the building and at a certain moment they're coming out of the building look at that I mean that's really that's really what I wanted to create right here just a simple hub for peeps to go like it is an actual hotel uh, slash restaurant and it worked out fine I'm really happy with the result I'm also really happy with that planter right there with the red uh, the red hedges basically not really hedges it's the flower bushes but it kind of looks like a hedge right now because it's, you know it's there's just so much in it all right so let's get to the screenshots all right, so I got five little screenshots for you guys. This is one looking at the main facade of the building with the balcony on the left. And then right here, you can basically see the wing of the building. I'm really happy with how the lights kind of illuminate the entire building. Like the spotlights, they work amazing for this. Now I added this uh, King, King Coaster statue to it because it has something to do with the um, 
the theme basically. Now I have no name, we should actually have a name uh, for the resort, so if you come up with a cool name, go ahead and post it in the comments. I'm sure we can come up with some cool names, but that was pretty much it, so I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace from Pieces of Prestige.